All right, so this is gonna be a little bit different of a type of video than what you're used to seeing, but I think you'll still find it very interesting. So, something I haven't really talked a whole lot about is the fact that my wife is an elementary teacher, and as an elementary teacher, with all the things that are going on right now, um, she has had to actually transition into being an online teacher for the moment. And as being an online teacher has, has its downfalls and benefits. She has a variety of students, but she's found that it's very hard to keep some of her kids engaged in their learning. Um, and she's doing lessons right now, her science lessons, on the speed of light and sound. And somehow some of her students found out that I do long range shooting videos and thought that it would be really neat if I could explain or try to use precision rifles and long range shooting to explain or demonstrate the speed of light and sound. So that's what I've done. I've come up with a lesson for these students and if it doesn't just have to be my wife's class, anybody who wants to use this lesson is absolutely welcome to it. I'll post it up on my channel. Um, you guys can share it around, whatever you want to do. Um, but we're going to use precision rifles and long range shooting to demonstrate the difference in the speed of light and the speed of sound. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the speed of light. Now, the speed of light is extremely fast. It is it's, The speed of light is so fast that it's hard for us as humans to quantify or to, to realize how fast the speed of light actually is. So, if you were to measure the speed of light, it is it breaks down into about 300 million meters per second or 273,000 400 miles per hour. So that is extremely fast. That is faster than anything that we have on this planet. And something that goes that fast is extremely hard for us to quantify. Another thing that is very fast is the speed of sound, but by no means is the speed of sound as fast as the speed of light. And because the speed of sound is so much slower than the speed of light, um, it is much easier for us to quantify and to realize in our heads and demonstrate the speed of sound. So I found a way using my precision rifle. This is my six millimeter Creedmoor. Um, this is my mid-range F-class rifle amongst other things. And we're going to use this to demonstrate the speed of sound, or I'm sorry, the speed of light. So how we're going to do that is through the muzzle flash. So when when you hear when you hear a rifle being shot or any sort of gun being shot, it makes a loud bang. That loud bang sound that you're hearing is actually the expanding gases that are inside the case when the when the projectile is fired. There's a, a mass of expanding gases that travels up the tube behind it to push the bullet out, and that expanding gas is what actually produces all that sound that you hear. Um, so you will notice that if you slow if you take a slow motion video of a rifle being fired and you watch the muzzle um, in slow motion, you will actually slightly be able to see the flash of the muzzle, see those expanding gases come out before you actually hear them at your ear. So that's what we're going to demonstrate first. So we've taken a slow motion video of my muzzle here on the Six Creedmoor being fired and you're going to actually, if we slow this down enough, you should be able to see the muzzle flash slightly before you hear it. So. Here you go. All right, so there you go. That is the speed of light. So as you see, the speed of light is absolutely faster than the speed of sound, and it's very hard for us to quantify how much faster because light is so fast and f sound is so much slower, even though the sound is still really fast. So the speed of sound is what we're going to talk about next. The speed of sound is 1,125 feet per second, so much slower than 3 million or 300 million meters per second by a large margin. Um, so that 1125 meters per or feet per second is much easier to demonstrate. So we're going to actually particular we're going to use long range shooting to demonstrate the speed of the speed of sound. So we're going to take my six millimeter Creedmoor here. We are going to set a can of shaving cream out at we'll we'll set it out at 825 I'm sorry 875 yards, which is in fact. 2,625 feet, so a significant amount of distance away. Um, and at that 2,600 and or yeah, 2,625 feet away, we are going to shoot this can of shaving cream in front of a plate of steel. So when we hit the can of shaving cream, you will actually see, you'll be able to see through the camera view through my spotting scope you'll be able to see the the bullet impact the can of shaving cream and explode and then you'll notice the 
the amount of time it takes for that sound to come back to our ear. So that's what we're going to demonstrate next. All right, so this is a lesson on the speed of sound. So downrange at that is 875 yards, so eight, eight and three quarters football fields away. There is a 12-inch plate hanging there like a diamond. Uh, hanging one foot in front of that plate is a can of shaving cream, just mainly for effect. Um, so when you see that can of shaving cream explode, the time that it takes for you to hear the sound from that can of shaving cream, or not from, from the steel behind the can of shaving cream being hit, that is the speed of sound. That's how long it takes for that sound to travel the 875 yards to get back to me. So let's see how long that is. This is a six millimeter Creedmoor. This is my mid-range F-class rifle, as well as a lot of other things that I do with it, but. Okay, so that that was one shot. That took that was my first shot of the day. One shot. This thing is dialed in very well, but that's not the point of this. I noticed that we didn't hear a lot of the ding because it was overclouded by the explosion sound of the can. But did you notice the sound, that pop sound from that can exploding mixed with the ding of the steel? That from the time you saw that explode to the time it got here is the speed of sound. Right, so there you go. As you saw, it was 1100 at, at, at the speed of sound being 1125 feet per second. Actually, it's 1125.328 feet per second, but we won't count that 0.328. It was it should have taken 2.333 seconds for that sound to return from the piece of steel being hit and the can exploding to the sound coming all the way back to us at the shooter to our ears. Um, which is exactly how long it took. Um, the rough estimate when I did the video was exactly 2.3 seconds, so everything lined up perfectly. Um, so that is how much slower the speed of sound is, first off, than the speed of light. But the speed of sound is something that we can actually quantify, we can actually understand much easier than the speed of light because it is so much slower. So you are actually able to experience and see what the speed, how fast that speed of sound moved by knowing how far away that target was and when that sound was made at that target. So that is the speed of sound, um, my 6mm Creedmoor rifle, and just to show you that this is something that is always a constant, we're going to do it with one more rifle. Um, this rifle is going to be a different rifle, as a matter of fact, we will use this, which is my long range F class rifle, um, this is my 1000 yard rifle, and we're going to shoot a target at the same exact distance and you will notice that even though this bullet is traveling at a different speed actually slightly slower a much larger bullet gonna hit that steel much harder um, you're going to notice that the amount of time that it takes for that tr sound to travel back to our ears should be the exact same so let's see if that's how it works this is a different rifle this is my long-range match rifle And we are shooting now in the rain, and we're going to shoot at that center plate, the silhouette shaped plate. <laughs> so, had no problem hitting the plate, and as you noticed, the same exact speed that it took for the for this rifle shooting a completely different bullet, completely different speed to get there, 
it took the exact same time from the time you saw the impact on that plate from the time the bullet came back and we heard the sound. So that is the speed of All sound. Right, so there you have it. See, as I, like, I, like I said, both these things are a constant. The speed of light is a constant. Um, if you, if it's something you can quantify and something you can, can actually realize with your, that's the way we think, then you will absolutely be able to measure that. Um, the speed of sound, much easier to measure because it is much slower. So as you saw, even though different rifle, different conditions, actually shooting through some slight drizzle this time, um, even though we were doing all those different things, you, we were able to see that different, different rifle, different bullet, different everything, the speed of sound did not change. It still took exactly 2.3 seconds for that sound to come from that target back to our ear at the shooter. So that is our demonstration on the speed of sound. This has been the speed of light versus the speed of sound. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something from this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. All right, so here's our shaving cream can. So it looks like a pretty centered shot. I'll take that for my first shot of the day absolutely any time. So straight through the can. Let's see here. And there is the hit on the steel. So really good shot. I'll take that. But as you could, as you as you heard, it took us from 875 yards away. You heard how long it took for that sound to travel back to our shooting position. So that is the speed of sound.